Hey there, my name is Chris Winter and welcome to my fast Shopify tutorial for this year. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Shopify site and having it look great in hopefully around about 10 minutes. This video isn't going to be super in depth. If you want one of those videos, I'm also going to have a full on in depth Shopify tutorial. That one will go for around about an hour and show you all of the ins and outs. This one's going to show you how to get your website up and running as quick as possible so you can start selling your products soon. And also guys, I've got a little present for you for watching this video. I'll put a link to the 25 best free Shopify apps that you need to add to your next Shopify store. These can really help increase the amount of sales and money that you can make from your store. That list is totally free and if you want to get it, I'll put a link right underneath this video and you can check it out. Now before we get started guys, what I would highly recommend is that you work on your website at the same time as watching this video. And one of the great things about Shopify is that they have a free trial which you can use and you don't even need a credit card to get started. Now if you do want to work on your website with me at the same time, which is what I would recommend, I'll put a link in the description box below to that free trial. You don't even need a credit card or anything to get signed up. That'll be the first link in the description box below under this video and also in the comments below. But anyway, let's get started with this free trial and the first thing we're going to be doing is putting in our email address, our password and our new store name. Now what it's going to be doing is creating your website for you. Now they're going to ask you a few extra questions just to customize your experience and then you just click next. From here, we're going to be putting in a little bit of your information and then you can enter your store. So this is your store dashboard and this is one of the most important places. This is essentially where you can see all of your products, change your themes and pretty much do everything with your back end. So we've got a little bit of information here, but where I want you to look is to the left here. This is all of the information such as your orders, your products, your customers who've purchased from you, your analytics, which are your stats, marketing, discounts, which you can offer, apps, which you can plug in. And then you've got a sales channel here, which is your online store. This is what we're going to be looking at first, because this is where we can change our theme. So as you can see, your store is currently password protected. That's okay because your store is not ready to go yet. But once you're ready and you're finished with the store, you'll be able to disable that password. So let's go down now and take a look at some free themes because let's go for a free theme rather than a paid one. So you click explore free themes. From here, you can see a number of different themes that are free that Shopify provide completely free. The theme that I like to use for today is maybe Brooklyn. I think this is a really nice theme. All you need to do is click add theme to add to theme library. And all we need to do is click actions, publish and click publish again. The theme's now published. Let's edit it. So to edit your theme, all you need to do is click right here and click on customize. And this is going to take you to the customize page. And as you can see on the right here, we already have a pretty nice looking theme. Obviously it doesn't have any images or anything, but the, the basics of the store are already looking really good. On the left here is where you're going to be having your sections, which you can edit. And that's what we're going to do now. So the first section that I'd like to change is the slideshow, which is this big hero banner here. Let's click on that. And then let's edit the first slide. Select image, upload an image. I'm going to choose this image. And as you can see, it's populated it right there and looks really good. Let's click select. We can also change the text here. So we'd go right here and we'd change this hero banner to uh, fantastic home decorations, which is our store. And how about welcome to, there you go. You can also have a button if you want, which will click shop now. Let's just add a button quickly. And you can see we have this button. Of course, you can change the link to any page you want. So for now, we'll just have one slide, but if you wanted another one, you could just go here. But let's delete, delete that now. The next thing that I'd like to do is change this little announcement bar right here. So we'll go to header and then go down and you can see that I can pretty much write anything. Let's say free shipping this week. And now anyone can see this whenever they visit the site. We can even change the color. Let's say to perhaps a nice brown color. And then there it is looking great. Now you can see that they've already included a logo for us. This is just a text logo, but it looks okay. If you have your own logo, you can upload it by going right here. Now let's go down a little bit 
and we can see that we have a little bit of information that we can add here. This is called a rich text section. And we could say, welcome to our website. And then you can add a little bit of text here. I'm not gonna write it because this is a short tutorial, but of course, as you can see, you can write it here. You can also change the size. So it's a larger one or a smaller one, but I like it medium, it looks good. And if you wanna add another section, all you need to do is go to add section. For example, we can add an image with text. Let's click add on that. We can change the image. So let's go to say uh, this one right here. That's a nice image. And then we can add some text. So oh, that one didn't save. Let's go again, select some store info. And this is where you would write some store information. Then if you want to add a button, you could also do that. Click here to find out more. And then of course you can add a link as well. So there you go. So if you ever wanna save your website, all you need to do is go to save and it's gonna be saved. Now, one other great thing about this customized page is that you can actually see how your website's gonna look on a mobile device, which is really important because a lot of people use mobile devices these days. So to do that, you go to the top here and you can see that this is the desktop. If we click here, this is how it's gonna look on the mobile. And this theme here and pretty much all Shopify themes are responsive. So you can see that this looks great even on a mobile phone. If you ever wanna go back, you can click here. If you ever want to see what it looks like full screen, you can click here and you can see this is exactly how it's going to look in a browser. So let's go back to the dashboard now and add some products. To do that, we click here. So let's now create a product. And the very first thing that we're going to do before we create a product is go to products and then collections and create a collection. Now a collection is essentially a category, so it makes it easy for your uh, the people who come to your website to find them. So let's click, click create a collection. And the first products that we're gonna be talking about is chairs. And we can just have this as an automated collection. So pretty much anything that has chair in it down here, and we can change that to the product title and chair is going to be uh, automatically created in the chairs collection. So we can click save now. So let's now create a product. All we need to do is go to products, all products, and then click add product. From here, we can create a title, black chair with legs. We can add a description, which is describing about the product. And then of course we can add some images. So to do that, we go to upload image. Then we can just put all of these images in. You can do them all at once. And the product on the left here is gonna be your featured image, which is the one that you'll see around the website mainly. If you want to change this, all you need to do is drag it and the one in the front now on the left will be the featured image. But let's make this one the featured image. You can go down to pricing and my, I'm in Sweden, so I have Swedish Krona, but it'll be the same in any currency. So we can change the price to, let's say 200, but it was originally at 300, so it's currently on sale. Compare at price is the original price. So that's all we really need to do here. We can add in a few tags, so let's say chair, uh, black seat that'll help people find it and then we can click save now as you can see the products now been added and if we go down you can see in this collections here that it's automatically been added to chairs which was how we made it in the collections before so that's great so let's now take a look at this product we can do this by clicking view at the top here and as you can see here's our logo here's the chair we were talking about here is the title. There's that discount we were seeing before. And if anyone wants to buy it, they can click add to cart. But if we scroll down, you can see all of these other images that we uploaded. And it's really that easy to add a product. Someone can add it to the cart and then even check out. 
Now let's go back to the online store where we're gonna customize our theme a little bit more. Click customize. And what I wanna do now is share that product. So let's add the section. We can go to featured product, click add, select the product. So we're gonna be finding that chair. So there it is right there. Click select. And as you can see, we can change a few other things here, but I think that looks pretty good. And we can drag this all the way to the very top. So you can see now in our website, we have this great hero header. We have our introduction for anyone who's new to our website. And right here, we have this option of seeing this product right here. Pretty good in around about 10 minutes. Again, if anyone wants to see some more details, they can click full details and you've got your store up and running pretty quickly. Now guys, if you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, please do, it's really fun and the best time to start is now. I'll put a link in the description box below to that free trial which you can get started and have your website up and running. You might even be able to get it done by today.